family one love i would like to say a r.i.p to sock tv one you know our brother passed on a few years ago but he used to do a lot of great interviews like those hip-hop interviews um and particularly from the chicago drill movement he was instrumental in shining a light on the earliest producers like young chop and some of the premier artists like uh dirk uh chief keith you know he would have actually made the blueprint for those drill music sounds you know so i happened to come across a video from sock tv from five years ago and in this video he was discussing the fact that around that time young chop was involved in a situation on stage in which he was attacked right but in the video sock tv went in to basically say that similar to what is happening right now right in which young chop is airing out certain members of the music industry but apparently even five years ago young chop had to expose the fact that um some crooked industry execs were actually trying to get him to get involved in practices and to sign on with things that went against um, their beliefs in God and the principles that they observed before that point. All right, and so basically, Zach TV in this video was discussing the fact that you know people shouldn't really judge uh, Young Chop too harshly because there's a lot of truth to what was actually taking place. And you know, Zach TV even said that he even said that people approached him, you know, because he had a music career for a while and due to his involvement in the drill movement he said that he was approached a few times to actually sign on with various deals but it would have had it would have cost him to compromise himself and his beliefs in god you know and so when i hear people speaking about these issues and using veiled language they know i'm not trying to be direct about it you can tell that there is more to what takes place in the music industry than we are led to believe you know because even right now if you look at the situation young chop is exposing the fact that a lot of artists are doing things behind closed doors to get deals you know so i mean i was looking at the situation for a long time trying to figure out how to respond to the young chop situation because they always seemed like there was more to this story than we led to believe right he's a good producer he's still making hits um, he just made a beat on a podcast to show that he's still brilliant with the beats. So what I think is going on, perhaps they are chastising various artists who are not signing on with whatever backdoor deals are going on in the music industry. You know, this is nothing new. People have been getting killed in the music industry for a long time and being um, the subject of harassment. But if you don't know that, Perhaps um, there's a lot of scandalous activities taking place um, in the area of music industry deals that many of us are not aware of. And, you know, so I wanted to just bring our remembrance to our brother, Sark TV. He was killed after, um, in the last few years of his podcast, he was speaking a lot about a lot of consciousness. He actually was speaking about various government initiated plans to enforce racist ideas. Um, the brother was just getting into a lot more consciousness and exposing things that were uncommon. But family, let me know your thoughts about all these dynamics. Just wanted to touch on this situation. It's a throwback video from Zark TV in which he's talking about young shop having uh, some industry related drama uh, related to him not signing with various individuals and here we have it today in 2020 young shop is still um, exposing more of these industry secrets you know so family let me know your thoughts in the comments below about all these dynamics one love